Hey there, it's Kurt Weitzel with WKRP and &E Real Estate, and today we are going to look at our contacts tab. Uh, keeping good contacts or keeping them organized is very important, especially with the sales cycle of real estate where it can take months and years, and you're hoping for return business um, and just keeping it all organized over the years to make sure you're doing a good job of servicing your clients. Um, the contacts tab has two things contact manager and add new contacts under the contact manager uh, it keep it can keep all your contacts current past and hopefully future um, you can organize them you could, there's a lot of different spaces to fill in information that's pertinent to each client um, it's alphabetical you can look search under letters you can uh, you can do an email address search all kinds of things um, but first you have to actually have the contacts in there so from the tabs and the home page I always use under contacts the add new contacts click and what happens is this screen comes up which gives you a lot of fields to fill in and it asks you tons of questions and I quite honestly you won't use all of them but uh, it's a good idea to look through them and know that they're there so that you can use them to connect your customers to properties down the road so what you want to do is just fill it in. Um, myself, for instance, will use Kurt White Cell, and you can just click Tab and move around. Um, if there's a partner, which mine would be Jen, it's the same. So I'm um, going to just continually uh, auto populates to make nice mailing labels to keep everybody organized. You can change the status to a new customer, active, active, hot, closed, inactive, or just casual. I like the casual because it's people that you know, it's people in your funnel, um, and you can go back and look at who's your casual and are you keeping up with them, have they bought, are they still in your pipeline. Um, I like that feature right there, that status. You can add phone numbers, fax machines, plenty of room for emails and uh, your organization date. You can put notes in here which is nice if there's something specific you want to keep in mind with them. Um, address you put their current address in as their mailing address right here um, you could put other addresses in if there's other places that need to be in there I don't ever put a work address in or another I use their current home address as their mailing address it keeps it simple and clean um, other information you can do a lead source where is it coming from um, a lot of people want to know if their business is coming through their broker or cold call and that's a nice name you can also if you do a referral system or if you send finders fees this is a great spot to add a name um, for someone that sent you a, a new business um, you can also another place to put notes then down here you can put kind of what they're looking for price range square footage bedrooms things like that um, that'll do and help you with your auto search down the road because once you get three months in six months in with a future buyer this stuff you start to forget um, so this is one of those things you really want to take the time to fill in and finally it's the personal information I always get birthdays and anniversaries for one reason one reason only it's one way for me to touch them throughout the year if I haven't done business with them there's nothing better than shooting someone an email or a note on their birthday or anniversary with all the social media that covers it too but just in case I uh, make sure this is filled in and I use it then you'll save it and it automatically goes in your database that there is how to add a contact and how to start using your contacts for your business I hope that helps this is Kurt Weitzel with WKRP Indy Real Estate if you have any questions, shoot me a note at Kurt at WKRPND.com.